hello everyone welcome back with the another video on react native mobile application development and in this video we are going to learn how we can pick the image from the gallery so uh, for this we are going to use this library called react native image picker so let's get started so first of all you have to install this library so let me just uh, just cancel my project first and then in vs code terminal let's just also zoom it a little bit okay so in the terminal you have to type this command yarn add create native image picker Okay, so that's it guys and uh, to you don't need to do any additional thing after installing this library so let's just run our project okay to have a look over on the application so in uh, in my last video I told you that I uh, I will complete my form so as you can see over here that we uh, my I have completed the form and we are getting all the uh, all this information as you can see so right now we are focusing on uh, how you can upload the shop image how you can get the image from the gallery so uh, I already created a component which is called select component selection component so I uh, modify it a uh, little bit the selection component will take a prop called label as you can see the label these are labels and it will also take a image prop in which I am passing the uh, icons from react native icons okay so uh, these are the react native vector icons so if you haven't watched uh, uh, the my previous video go check how you can uh, get this react native vector icons one more thing that i have to uh, i will add in this uh, one more uh, one more prop that i will add is uh, called uh, on press and uh, on the click on on press I'm I will be calling a function on press so let's just save it guys and after this you will get the on press over here so say on press and so when a user press on this button we will um, take the user to the function let's uh, um let's create a function called pick image from gallery okay, okay cool. so let us copy it and after copying it let us create a function so this will be our async function and uh, async function the name so let's just rename it with pick 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 shop image from gallery okay pick shop image from gallery and let's just paste this over here okay so in this uh, function you will first need to launch 
the image gallery so when a user click the image gallery will be launched so to launch it let's type um, uh, the function will be launch image uh, it will be launch image library okay so it will uh, launch the gallery so and it is also be a, a wait and let's just also have the result in results like this okay guys so after that uh, we have to let's just console.log that what we got first check let's what we got okay so let's just click on it and as you can see okay so it's saying undefined touchable opacity okay guys so the problem is that we have uh, uh, double s in our on press so let's just remove it like uh, we have double s in our on, on press as you can see over here so it will also be the same like press okay okay so let's just change in all the all, all over the component okay now save it okay cool so now let's just check let's just call our function like what will be the function pick image from gallery pick shop image from gallery now let's just save it and check okay as you can see that uh, it is working fine but we don't have any photo so let's just grab a uh, image okay so let's just grab a image from chrome okay let's just download the image from here okay cool now let's just check so let we are what we are doing that we are printing the results we are checking what result does this library gave us okay let's just okay as you can see we are getting a lot of things like file name and uh, uh, you can give the uri the path to the file okay so let's see one more condition if we don't pick uh, any color any image then what will happen so like if we if i do this and i make the cross so as you can see we getting this result that did cancel is equals true so we have to check this thing first okay so i have to type if results dot uh, did cancel if result dot is cancel then we have to return our uh, return our function okay return just do nothing and return and if we get the result then let's just create a use state for our image so let's say shop image and set shop image okay and uh, what you have to do is to say set shop image and uh, set shop image results that's it guys now save it and uh, let me check okay all it all it's working all good but there is a one thing missing in this thing that if a user uh, select selected the image then there is nothing that we are showing to the user that uh, hey you selected the image now uh, now go to the next next process like upload your upload shop on our image so here we are going to do one thing 
let's come to our react native vector icons we are going to provide a green tick over here so the user can see that yeah i already provided uh, my image so let's pick the tick or you can say it will be check 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 like this so we can get it from and design so let's just copy this thing paste it over here get the end design and end design and let's just do one thing in our selection component after this image we need one more image but uh, we have to import it in our this file so let's just import it here and come to like add design and say check circle sorry the name will be check circle and let's uh, pick the color from html color code a good green color for this let's just pick this color and set that color will be this and the size will be 20 let's just save it and see what we got okay yeah so we got this thing but as you can see our design is a little bit uh, showing uh, out of the context so let's just make it make a view so we need this and make a another view inside we will paste these two things and we just and we don't need now a uh, justify uh, Okay, if I do this, like uh, if I go to the style, like x like direction will be raw, cool, and uh, align items will be center. Okay, and and let's give it, give this thing a style. Margin left ten. Okay, cool. Yeah. So first of all. Uh, and uh, let's just give it like uh, let's just give one more prop to show like true or false something like that so let's see say check checked okay so checked will be by default check will be false and we have to say like if checked then show this as it will be now okay okay cool so let's come to this and provide this checked so this checked will be based on something like that shop image if we have shop image then uh, it will be true and else and else guys it will be false okay so let's just copy it and now you can see our check is showing but let's just place this jack thing before this thing and give it a 
margin right i think this will be more good yeah and one more thing uh, the alignment i mean you have to say uh align items will be center okay so it will be placed in the middle okay so this is how you can get the both of the images okay so i hope you uh, understand and got my point if there any there is any confusion so you can uh, ask me in the comment box i will happy to ask oh sorry i will happy to give your answers so see you guys in the next video and till then take care bye